Hi, my name is Shaheen and I'm the founder of Study Tom, a math tutoring company based in Houston, Texas. I have tutored a lot of students in GMAT and GRE. And I've noticed that most of the students are suffering and taking very long in solving the questions because they don't know the formula properly or because of the lack of knowledge of strategies used in GMAT or GRE. So today in this video, we are going to cover the topic circle. So this is the problem for the topic circle. The question says in the figure, the centers lie on the same line. So this is my one center and that's my other center. They all lie on the same line. The radius of the middle sized circle is twice to that of the smallest circle. Let's name this as S for smallest circle and this for medium sized circle. And it says there the radius of the middle sized circle is twice the radius of the smallest circle. So this is my relation. If the radius of the smallest circle is 1, so that means this radius is given to you as 1. What is the length of the boundary of the shaded region? Now here, boundary means they are asking you for the circumference. Or circumference is also called as length of the circle. So here they are looking for circumference, which is this part right here. This part, this one, and this one. That means they are looking for the circumference of the semicircle for the small size, for the medium size, and for the larger circle. So now here, the circumference of the circle is 2 pi r. But here we want circumference of the semicircle, which is 2 pi r divided by 2 which is nothing but pi r. Now let's find the circumference of the smallest circle, which is pi r, and we already know the radius, so it is 1 times pi, which is pi. So we already got the circumference of the smallest size circle. Now we need the circumference of the middle size circle and the circumference of the larger circle. Now, it says from this condition that the radius of medium sized circle is twice the radius of smallest circle. So that means the radius of the medium sized circle is 2 times 1, which is 2. So that means I have this one as 2. Now, if this is 2, the other side is also 2. And if this is 1, the other side is also 1. So now let's find the circumference of the medium sized circle, which is again pi r which is 2 pi, is the circumference of the medium sized circle. And now the last part of the problem, which is the circumference, the circumference of the semicircle of the larger circle, which is in the larger circle, the diameter of the larger circle is 1 plus 1, 2, plus 2 is 4, plus 2 is 6. So the radius of the larger circle is 3. And therefore the circumference of the larger circle is 3 pi. Now once I got the circumference of the semicircle of the smallest circle, medium circle and larger circle, I'm going to add all three of them to find the boundary of the shaded region, which would be pi plus 2 pi plus 3 pi, which is 6 pi. And that's your final answer. So here in this problem, I've seen many students uh, finding the area of the shaded region because they don't realize that the question is about the boundary of the shaded region, which means only this part which is marked with the red marker, not the inside part. The inside part is shaded just to show you uh, the shaded region, but they are not actually asking you for the inside region. They are asking you for the boundary, which means the circumference or the length of the circle. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something very helpful and um, if, you, if you want some more videos or if you want to learn something more, you can always go to my website www.mystudydom.com or call me at 281-818-4760. Thank you.